Good morning, internets! I'm back at the vault! Ah, all right, so I was really excited yesterday when I made yesterday's video and told you guys, like, hey, they might be giving me my car back sometime on Friday. Um, it was about three o'clock when I was at work um, and Rob messaged me and he says, hey, is there any chance you could come home from work early? And I was like, oh, uh oh, what happened? Um, and he goes, cause your car's done. I was like, bye boss. I'll be right there. <laughs> I gotta go. Um, and race back across town to, to go get Alessandra picked up. Cause you know, we had him getting fixed up in our neighborhood and, uh, I t thank you everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Everybody who sent me advice for what to look for from the body shop and what to check for. We checked, um, you know, the headlight alignment and all the body panel gaps. And we looked for, you know, runs, um, or dimpling in the, in the new paint. Um, and he, he looks pretty much perfect. Um, it's, it, they made it look like the wreck never happened, and um, it's, I'm I'm pretty impressed, honestly. Uh, there are no overspray issues. Um, they did tell me that I cannot wax or um, pressure wash or anything for the lady at the counter said 30 days, but the pamphlet they gave me said 90 days, um, and I don't know which it is. I have no idea which it is, but um, in any case, I'm really really glad to have my car back um for the last month i haven't been in the vault and you know since the wreck um in in july and so a bunch of stuff has been going on with big rob deals in the shop and we've been doing like like alessandro hasn't been in his parking spot in the garage charging um so that we've filled the garage with a whole bunch of stuff that um um, it's like we weren't able to plug in Alessandro last night when we brought him home. Uh, we weren't planning on bringing him home until, to, until today. Um, so here's the thing about Gerber auto collision and glass, which is where we took, um, where we took Alessandro. Uh, they stayed in touch with us. They did everything they said they were going to do when they said they were going to do it. They did a magnificent job. They gave us an estimated finish date and they got done a day early. I... I can't say enough good things about Gerber Auto Collision and Glass. And we were treated so nicely. I had a lot of questions um, for the guy who worked on the car. Um, he did, it, some, they said some scary things to me about Alessandro. They said that they very nearly uh, had to total him out. Um, they had to ask for a supplement from like the original check that the uh, insurance company sent me. Um, was for 1800 and something, 1800 and change, and then $500 deductibles. So they were figuring that the whole thing was gonna be fixed for $2,300. Not at all the case. It ended up being well over six grand, and I have no idea, I don't know what the cutoff point is for totaling a vehicle. Um, I know that it's some percentage of, of total, uh, total book value. Um, but I, I guess I guess we were right up on the edge of that and that would have broken my heart um, I would not have known what to do with with that set of circumstances um, But luckily that's not what happened. Um, I did have the tech tell me he goes We had another guy who was working on your car um, a bunch of us were working on your car And he said that if another one of these volts ever comes in uh, and needs work that he's gonna quit <laughs> I was like what? He's like, yeah, it was, it was ridiculous. I guess they had to, at one point they had to tow, um, Alessandro to a, uh, a Chevy dealer, an authorized dealer because they needed to, they had to pull apart the entire coolant system, his radiator and everything, I guess it's pressurized and they needed a special machine that they didn't have to flush the radiator and, and refill the coolant system and then repressurize it. And I guess, you know, that makes, that makes sense because the coolant system in this car doesn't just cool the little bitty generator. It also cools, um, the, the battery pack, um, the whole, the whole charging system, um, has the coolant running through it. So, uh, that's, that's a big deal is, is, you know, that was, they, they had the whole front of the car off. Um, they had the, uh, support that goes in front of the radiator and everything that had to be that had to be removed it I guess it was just it, it was it was quite the event um oh 
Oh, back in my own car. We, I opened the door of the car, Alessandra. I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to convey this. But I could smell my car. Like, I the, the smell hit me before anything else. And, like, right away I got emotional. I was like, oh, it's my car. That's what my car smells like. Yeah. My car smells like shouting and glitter and Febreze. Like, that's my car that smells like that. <laughs> it was just, I don't know. It's, it's, I'm just really happy to be back in my own car and to not be in the Kia anymore. And, um, oh, oh, just in time. I'm so, I'm so happy. <sighs> Did anybody else feel super relieved when you got your car back after a long time in the shop? Was it just like, oh, yay. And it feels brand new all over again because we've been apart for, you know, three and a half weeks. And now it's like a brand new car all over again. It's it's new and old at the same time. Like I feel refreshed by being back in the car that I actually want to be in and I actually want to drive. A Chevy Volt, yes. But you know, in addition to that, I also feel like comforted because this is this is my baby. This is the choice that I made. The steering wheel is right. I keep feeling the steering wheel. The Kia had a giant steering wheel. It's so funny when we get in this car. Um, you know, Rob's always like, why'd they put a go-kart steering wheel in your car? And I was like, because it's a go-kart. <laughs> but it's like, it's a smaller steering wheel. The Kia steering wheel is like, it's huge. And I didn't really notice until I went back down. I'm like, oh, ah, hmm, nice little bitty Chevy steering wheel like I'm used to. Um, it's, oh God, it's just so good to be back in my car. Guys, this is the best Friday ever. Driving my Volt to my job at my Vegas magazine. Yes, good stuff. Oh my gosh, and it's going to be a crazy day crazy day. We have overlap starting next week for end of fall issue and beginning of winter issue. This is what it's like to work at a quarterly publication. Everything is planned months and months out and layout. And it, it takes, man, it really does take a village to raise this baby that is my Vegas magazine. And we have a lot of coordination to do amongst ourselves. Um, and it's whew, so much to do. And I'm, I'm just so glad that I get to go and in the vault. Uh, right now I am in mountain mode trying to gen some electricity. Um, this evening, today, I know that Rob and uh, Amber, our oldest daughter, um, is are, are working hard on the house. I feel bad that I can't, can't be there um, to help them work on the garage and the house and everything that they're doing right now for Big Rob Deals. Guys, my house is, it is torn apart. It, I mean, the it's it's strange because we have a living space that's now like becoming this sort of industrial commercial space um that requires a lot of attention and a lot of maintenance in order to you know in order to to still be livable um and we're trying to like tread that line right now and, and figure out how to delineate these spaces um and it's it's been an adventure it really has uh i'm not gonna lie i don't envy them having to clean the garage it's um it's uh it's gonna be pretty hot today, so that that part's gonna suck. But it's uh, it's necessary so we can get the car charged up. But I man, I'm just I'm so happy. I'm so happy to be back in the Volt, and oh, it's it's finally over. It's finally over. And then in December, when my policy is. Um, which is the end of the term of my policy. We'll see how much my rates go up. Less excited about that. Um, oh, and would you look at that. Highway Patrol rewarding the overachievers again. It's so easy to just go the speed limit. It's, I, don't, I don't understand. I don't understand. Like every eight seconds, there's a sign telling you what the speed limit is. You don't even have to work that hard to remember it. It's... All right. But back in the vault... It's a good Friday. It's a good day. And, uh, man, I know this is just all, all happy rambles right now, but I'm just like, I'm just so ecstatic of being back in, back in my old car. Yep. This is where my butt goes. Butt goes in this car. None that other car. And Molly the Mazda was cool. Don't get me wrong. Love Molly the Mazda. No complaints there. It's just not my car. And the Kia Soul was cool. It's all right. Um, despite the fact that I felt it was sort of dumb, but it just, it just wasn't my car. This is my car. Yeah. My happy little pole. 
when I opened up the hatchback to put my backpack in this morning, because I'm a backpack person, I carry a lot of bags, um, I put my work bag in the hatch, and I opened it up, and I saw all the space inside the hatch of the Volt that is not there in the Kia. So, you know, like, the width of the, the space in the back of the Kia, it's like, it's like this much. From the back of the seat to the, the hatch, it's, there's nothing there. It's, you have to put the seats down all the time, which is super annoying. And, like, this actually has room back there. I was just like, oh, this is so refreshing. Laid my backpack down nicely. Set the other bag next to it. Oh, oh, nice. Yes. And I'm almost at the office right now. So I'm going to keep these rambles going until we get there. And then I'm going to pull the camera out of the, the holder up here on the windshield and walk around the car and show you guys what tremendous work they did. Um, it's just, mm, feels good. Feels, feels really good. Driving him around for a week wrecked with like the front end all ripped apart and the light all smashed out like that. That was a bummer. I did not enjoy that at all. Um, so this is this is definitely much nicer. Um, I, I, according to your guys' advice, I am listening. Uh, I like now that I'm at freeway speeds. I have been listening for wind noise for any weather stripping issues. Um, all of the damage really on the front of the car. No, nothing really happened to anything related to the passenger compartment. I didn't even get a scratch on my door. You know what I mean? So I didn't expect there to be weather stripping issues, and in fact, there's not. But I checked for it anyway. So thank you for that. Um, didn't really see any any panel gaps at all. I mean, they every little dent and scratch and injury that came from the accident has been repaired. So, and it's all been seamless. Um, so it's. I mean, I, I I can't really complain. It's uh. It's been really good. Oh, and it's a nice day today. We've had like a lot of thunderstorms. This monsoon season has been has been absolutely brutal. Uh, the last two weeks, this week notwithstanding, but the, the two weeks prior to that, it was like we had rain and thunder almost every single day um, out by where I work. And I know what you're thinking. Oh, that's a good thing. You need rain in Las Vegas. Well, it, it is and it isn't because it, like, we, it wasn't enough rain to really do anything about... Um, about how hot and dry it is here. It's just enough rain to make your car wet so that when the wind comes blowing the dust, it all sticks. So it basically rains dirt <laughs> onto everything. Um, and, and that is that is less fun. Um, but, you know, today I don't think we're going to have any thunderstorms today. So that's, that's good. I don't know what they are building right next door to where I work, but it is large. Okay down here to Fort Apache and Russell near My Vegas Magazine. Yes, yes. Check out my office HQ. I just, I can feel it's going to be a good day. <sighs> and, as I've said before, and I still, still believe it, every day's a good day. Really. Even the bad days are good days because, hey, you're having a day. And that is a privilege denied to many. So we enjoy all the days. <laughs> as much as you can, anyway. All right. Yay, I'm at work. Go get in my parking spot and show you guys how handsome Alessandro is. Oh, he's handsome. Talk to my car like my sister talks to her cat. I know you don't know her, but trust me. It's inappropriate. All right. Yes, yes. All right. Now, I will warn you. The only thing that has happened with Alessandro that I'm not the biggest fan of is um, the the things that I did custom on the car have, were all on the front and they have been replaced. So I'm going to have to recustomize. But let's have a look at the baby. This is going to be good. All right. I'm going to grab. Ah! I don't normally do this. I don't normally grab the camera. <laughs> okay, let's look. Okay, so as you can see, everything that was damaged before is now not. All of this replaced hood, all the, the dents pulled out of it, and it repainted. All of this in here was all smashed up, all been replaced. And look at this, they replaced these pieces here, here, and here. 
Um, these were blacked out. So I had taken Plasti Dip. Don't, don't talk crap about Plasti Dip. A lot of people like to talk crap about Plasti Dip and they should not use properly. It's amazing stuff. Um, they, uh, they had to replace these and I don't like them. And I'm going to tell you why I don't like them. I want you to take a look at those there. And I've talked about this before. But the reason that I don't like those is that I think that it looks like Alessandro has braces. Like, it, look at, look at, doesn't that look like braces to you? Does that not need to be blacked out or changed in some way? And this time, like this next one, oh, I don't know, guys. I'm thinking maybe, maybe purple, maybe electric teal um, to match, um, like, everything I wear and my hair and stuff. Um, we're definitely going to have to black out that bow tie again because the bow tie in the rear... It's perfectly fine because the back of the car did not get hurt and I blacked this one out um, and it has stood up pressure washing automatic car washes it has not mattered um, and you know what in the after the wreck the entire front end of, of him was smashed up and the two these two pieces the braces the braces pieces in the grill those two grill pieces had popped out like we had to rip them out but the pieces themselves like where the plasti dip was unscratched unharmed unscathed not peeled nothing not a dimple not a not a, nothing the Plasti Dip was amazing and held up in the wreck, whereas the rest of the car did not. <laughs> so, um, I definitely like that product for, like, little little details and stuff. The Dip Your Car channel is amazing. If you ever go, like, go see Dip Your Car, oh, my God, those guys definitely know what they're doing. Uh, well, they're dealers of the product and everything, but they'll dip entire cars, like, crazy color, um, crazy different, like, color schemes and stuff to get really artistic with it. But anyway... There you guys have it. Uh, that's Alessandro, and he is all better now. And now, as a result of him being all better, I am all better. So, um, if this is your guys' first time on the channel, thank you so much for watching. Please consider subscribing right over here. Uh, here's some other videos I think you'll enjoy right down here. My name is Catherine. This is Evie's in Nevada. Please remember to like, subscribe, and smile! My baby is home!